Hello everyone and welcome to Classy Handmade. So today I'm here to show you how to make this little ornament, sock ornament. So you will need a hook. I'm using a 3.5 hook, a yarn needle, scissors, stitch marker, and some embellishment. You can use any embellishment you would like to embellish it. On this one, I use some yarn to make some little flowers and so on. And I have some resin decoration here. You can also use those. But I'll show you how to do the little embroider to decorate the socks. So today I'll use just yarn from Premier. And this is a burgundy color. So let's get started. So grab your hook and your yarn, make a magic loop. Into the magic loop, you're going to put six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull the loop to close the ring. So in rung one, you have six single crochet. For rung two, you're going to increase into each stitch for a total of 12 single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Remove your stitch marker and move your stitch marker up as you go on each row. For round three, you're going to put one single crochet, increase into the next stitch. So one, then two in the second one. So that's three stitches, four, five, six. So for a total of 18 single crochet in row three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you will stop the increase here. If you would like to make your sock bigger, you can continue increasing. So we're making a ornament. So we'll stop increasing here. So we have 18 stitches and we're on row three. So from row four to eight, you're going to put one single crochet into each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18. So that's row four. So row five, you do the same thing. One single crochet into each stitch.
So we are on our last row, which will be row. So this is row, sorry. <laughs> this is row five, sorry. So go ahead and put one single crochet in each row. And I'll meet you back at the end of row eight. So you should be on row five. Go ahead and do three more rows and I'll meet you back at the end when you finish your three rows. So we have eight rows. So we are going to work on the heel of the little sock. So you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to single crochet into nine stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine so that was row one for the heel you're going to chain one and turn and you're going to do this from for the heel you're going to continue working into the nine stitches for two more rows so you'll have a total of three rows so that's row one row two there's one two three four five six seven eight nine chain one and turn one two three four five six seven eight nine so we create our little heel so take your sock and fold it like so this you fold it in half put the two ends together like that and you're going to single crochet four times along the edge of your sock so right here along the edge so one single crochet two three four so we come to the end step and you're going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine single crochet across the instep so across the top of the sock you will do nine single crochet then you're going to go back down to the side of the heel, other side of the heel, and you're going to put four single crochet. One, two, three, And we're going to put four, the last one in the back. So for a total of yes, so that's 18 stitches we have all together. So place your stitch marker in the last stitch you made. So we're going to continue working one single crochet into each stitch one two three so we should have 18 stitches 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. So once you space 18 stitches evenly around, you'll be good. So you have 18 stitches and you're going to continue working on your socks for... So row 9 is where we pick up our stitches. So the heel and the, <clears throat> the instep stitches. So from row 10 to 16, you're just going to continue putting one single crochet into each of the 18 stitches you have. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18. So you should have 18 stitches. And you're going to work from row 10 to 16. And I'll meet you back at the end of row 16. Where I'll show you to do the embellishment. And close up the back of the heel so at the end of round 16 we're going to chain 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and this is for hanging slip stitch into the foundation of your chain okay fasten off cut your yarn leave a long about 12 inches and I'll show you what to do with that so we are going to take our tapestry needle and we're going to close up that little hole that we have right here so take your needle and go through some of the stitches in your sock and go until you get to where your opening is if you're going to make this you know you can make it bigger and you want to wear it you won't do that so okay for ornament we'll could do that so we'll take the stitches the needle and we'll go through the edge of the stitches back and forth at the back of the heel closing those few stitches probably about four or three stitches close you're going to fasten off leave a loop don't finish the stitch and pass your needle through the loop to close it off then you just weave in a bit and then you can go ahead and decorate this however you want whether you want to put buttons you want to put whatever embellishment you have so we finish our little socks so i'll get some embroider thread and i'll show you how to embroider some little 
flowers on your sock. So I have some green and some cream color embroidery floss. So I'm going to take a piece and I'm going to So take a sewing needle and you're going to thread it you're going to take your sock and you're going to put it where you want the design to be I'm going to put it there I'm going to do some French knots so I'm going to wrap my needle that's two times three four about five times and you put it don't put it in the stitch that you came out of put it a little away from where you are and bring it through somewhere else that's how I do my French knots Sometimes it goes right through and I have to do it over again. Okay, so I think I got a knot in my yarn, in my <laughs> floss. So I'll be right back. Okay, I did get a knot in my floss. My... Okay, so that's my first little French knot. If you use yarn, the knot, the knots will be much bigger and i do whatever sometimes i do little flowers like this now i'll go back to the middle this is not an embroidery class but if you know to do some embellishment you can go ahead and do whatever kind of flowers you like but I'm showing you a bit so I'm gonna go back through the middle I think I should zoom in so you can see what I'm doing just in case you don't know so I show you the French knot and I'm going I'm doing a little flower here so let me move this and bring you in a bit okay so do not go that way I'm going to make another petal. So you see, I'm just doing like that, go through the middle and put the yarn like And just pull and then I go back there and then go to the middle again and so I have four I'm going to do five petals so, so here you see my little flower I'm going to move away and do another one over here. So you can go ahead and embroider some flowers on your socks. You could use yarn or you can use embroidery floss like I'm doing. And... just to give it some embellishment you don't have to be perfect <laughs> for some reason I have an entire bag full of 
embroidery floss but I don't seem to have any white ones any white thread so white and black I can't seem to keep I hate when my yarn have a knot in it white and the black color embroidery floss I can't seem to keep enough of it I guess because I use it a lot for my amigurumis you know so and I know I bought some the other day so I have a little twisty one there <laughs> and now I'm going to leave it it's not open out like the others I learned embroidery in school, high school, and they used to teach us to do a lot of things, embroidery, cooking, baking, and stuff like that. So now I still have a little knowledge of my embroidery days, and I use it to incorporate in doing certain, um, I use it in my amigurumis and and like this socks I'm showing you here. <laughs> so. We used to make a lot of pillowcases. We used to. And in those days we used to use carbon paper. <laughs> to transfer our um, pattern onto. <laughs> so. Onto the white. We used to use white. Um. cotton or mixture of fiber cut you know different polyester with cotton or whatever we and we used to use the carbon paper take the picture and draw it put the carbon paper to transfer it onto the to the fa fabric so i don't know if anyone remember those days with carbon paper it was yeah so so that's my little design for my sock you can do it on both sides and what i do i still continue to um put some little french knots around you know to give it some in oh boy the hole is too big so it went right through sorry <laughs> i guess i gotta do it on top of the bump that went right through so be mindful don't put it in the hole itself or else you would it will go right through so that's what i'm doing so i'm going to continue doing see i put another french knot here and then i'll come back and show you how to do the leaves if you can do the embroider just get some buttons or whatever you have in your stash and embellish your little sock and I'll be right back so let's do some leaves and some stems on our plants and our flowers so I have some green yarn here and I'm going to do some chain stitch in embroider to connect my flowers So here I am connecting my flowers with some chain stitches. I'm going to go in there, come out here. When you have too much long thread in embroider, you tend to get your yarn tangled. So don't get too much of a long. <laughs> tail or as you end up with so much tangle so let me put that aside and it can make it very hard for you to work with your embroidery floss if you have too much of a long tail I didn't end this one because I might need to put some more French knots so I'll go this again 
to connect this flower to this sometimes things could be cumbersome <laughs> okay so there we go doing some some vines or however you want to do it I'm connecting that one with a little stem so they're on some vines so you see that's what I'm doing then I'm going to go over there and continue working could come closer to this so it don't be so far all right so we're just going to continue working this way of embroider and connecting the flowers by doing some chain stitches and i'll be right back when i finish my embroider on my sock so you can go ahead and work so you see here and I'll be right back okay so I finished my embroider and this is how it looks I put some little leaves around the little French knots and so I hope this tutorial was easy for you to understand and you could make some last minute little gifts you can use these for putting on gift wrapping and you know you have grandchildren you can stick a little five dollar bill or something inside and give them and it will be for a little ornament and they could also have some little chain so i hope this tutorial was easy for you to understand please like share and subscribe and hit that notification button so when i upload a video you will be able to know that I, it's there so thank you and remember to be kind. Until next time, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.